Well, hey everybody. So I know that the subject heading of this email may have looked a little bit weird or strange, and that was intentional. Uh, we were trying to grab your attention a little bit, and we'll explain in just a moment uh, what exactly we meant by it's time to have a baby. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to start by saying thank you. Thank you so much for just doing what you do. Your role in our church as a group leader is absolutely invaluable. The opportunities that you provide to the people of our church to experience real, authentic community while growing in their faith is so needed and so important. So it's really what we're called to do as the church, right? To make disciples. So I wanted to say thank you for helping us to do just that. Now, the group's ministry at Crossroads has grown for sure since I got here almost 18 months ago. Uh, when I first joined Crossroads, there were, I think, 10 groups mm -hmm. that were meeting on a regular basis. Today, we have 22 groups. Awesome. So I praise God for that growth. Uh, but we need more, a lot more, mm -hmm. because we have way more people that want to be in a group than I have groups to put them into. Mm -hmm. And so the way I see it, there are two ways that we can go about adding to the number of groups that we currently have. The first way is to simply try and identify some people in our church that are not currently in a group and simply ask them to start and lead new groups. And we're working on that. Uh, I've had several conversations with people recently that will hopefully result in a few new groups starting. The second way, and I would add probably the better way, I think, uh, that we could go about doing this is to multiply the existing number of groups. What's better than addition than multiplication? And so that's why I have asked my lovely wife, Kelly, to join me, since this was partially her idea, uh, to explain a little bit more about what we mean by it's time to have a baby. When Pete came to me and told me that he was going to be talking to all of you and asking you to identify potential new group leaders, uh, I immediately said to him, you need to tell them that it's time to have a baby. Uh, because I really just... Um, remember when he and I were at that point in our marriage where we wanted to leave a legacy. We wanted to be part of something that was bigger than ourselves. And the most natural way to fulfill that desire to be part of something bigger than yourself was to have a baby, right? And so here we are two kids later and what better way for you to expand your reach than to allow your small group to have a baby and to be able to multiply. Because God's kingdom really is all about multiplication. And this is really the best way that you can have a hand in seeing uh, God's kingdom furthered and expanded um, is by helping to identify potential group leaders that can continue and carry on the work that you've already seen going on, even in your own small group. Uh, so uh, I would just challenge you to uh, take to heart what Pete is saying and to just really uh, grab onto that because if we can see a couple babies come forth <laughs> from these groups, this would be awesome. Yes, it would. And don't look at it as, you know, losing somebody from your group. Yeah. Uh, look at it as, you know, as Kelly just said, as an opportunity to uh, expand your reach. Yeah. So here's what I'd like for you to do. If you could do me a huge favor and reply to this email with the list of at least one name of somebody that you can think of that has the potential to be a group leader. Uh, whether that be somebody from your existing group right now uh, that could launch out of your group and start another one, or somebody that you just know within the church. Because uh, think about it, if we have 22 groups and each of you provides me with one name that results in another group, that'd be 44 groups. Now we're really getting somewhere. And so if you could get that uh, list of names to me by the middle of next week, by next Wednesday, uh, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. And the reason I would like it by then is because what I want to do with that list of names is to invite each of those people to the leader launch that we're going to be having on the following Wednesday, on March 12th, which I already emailed you about earlier today. And so I look forward to uh, talking more with all of you in the very near future about this. But thanks so much for taking the time to read this email, watch this video. God bless. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.